Hey everyone, welcome to the Outdoors Unsupervised channel. I know it looks a little weird. I'm in the house and that is not camping. Um, technically it kind of is because people camp in cabins, but no fear folks, I'll be outdoors unsupervised. Um, well, maybe so today because uh, I have this camera set up inside so you guys can say nice and toasty while I go out here, I'm gonna move that put a tent there, and I am going to be doing a zero degree sleeping bag test. Uh, I think it's Teton is the brand, T-E-T-O-N, Teton, Teton. Uh, but it is supposed to be um, 12 degrees tonight. Well, actually, it's not. The wind chill is negative eight, so it feels like negative eight. So it's gonna be negative eight tonight. So after the intro, I'm gonna um, start getting stuff ready and I'll talk to you a little bit more in a little bit. Go post stop recording. Okay, it feels a little bit more camping. Um, I'm outdoors now, but first step is to uh, move this uh, contraption here get this out the way and I will put the tent here so you guys can see me on that camera there um, I'll put some maybe some fire crackle in like logs in the fire when I when I use that video so you you're inside you feel warm and toasty while I'm out here freezing to death so uh, let me put this down and get this going Ooh, stuck. She's a Okay, that part is done. So the tent should go right about here. Clean this area off a little bit. There we go. First of all, I have a moving blanket. Um, I'm probably gonna at least, if I go winter camping, probably at least gonna have one of those because I do not like getting all my stuff messed up. Speaking of that, I don't want the, I don't want the moving blanket messed up. So, first of all, I'm gonna put a tarp down. I'm doing all this in the daytime so you can see uh, a little better because I have two lives to do. Um, I have a live at so you're seeing this probably sometime maybe late December, but I am shooting this video December 23rd on a Friday night, and Friday nights is the lives. Uh, last uh, Friday I did a live with both channels, so this Friday I'm doing the same thing. I'm gonna go live at 6.30, no, 6 p.m. on the garbage disposal. And on this channel, I was going live at uh, 7.30. I'm gonna take this jacket off, not because it's warm out here, it's because the quality of the microphone might be better from you hearing that jacket rustle. So, yes, I'm doing this for you guys. I'm having enough room so Tasha, when she gets off her real job, she can walk by here without messing the tarp up. I don't need the whole tarp out this much, um, but it's a good place I can put my shoes at to dust off before I put them in my tent because when it's cold outside, you'll find out you need to put um, everything in the tent. Um, so I'm, I'm usually not gonna use the one person tent. I'm usually, uh, unless I need to be really, really stealthy, but the two person tent I use to put all my backpack and everything in. Uh, so the, uh, the outside temperatures, uh, when it frosts, it doesn't frost up everything like it did on my Stealth Camp number nine. If you didn't see that video, you can check that out and see. But, uh,
but I could put black trash bags over um, my backpack and stuff if I use the one person tent like I'm doing now. But all my stuff's gonna be inside the house uh, where you guys are at, nice and toasty, watching me out here like a fool. But hey, it's better me than you, right? That's what you're gonna say. So I'm gonna set this up. Um, sleeping bags are rated probably like everything is rated higher or lower than it's supposed to, supposed to really go in, in real life situations. Um, what what uh, what places do is do that to sell it, you know, to sell it. So I, I, I'm thinking this um, zero. Oh, got on my freaking alarm. That's why I run out with the gun at night. Okay, put it right back in that same pocket so it does it again. Um, but this zero degree sleeping bag, um, I have it down to 27 right now, so I can actually tell you right now, this sleeping bag is definitely comfortable at 27 degrees. I took a pair of pants off, I, I had my thermals on, just my thermals on, and one jacket. I took a jacket off, I took a pair of socks off, so I had a pair of socks. Uh, one jacket, uh, and uh, what else? Thermals on my my lower torso, and one pair of socks. This uh, this is easier than than it looks. I'm just uh, talking, so I can't do two things at once. So. You just put them in here and it kind of locks into place. It's going to fall over on you until you get the other one in. But this tent probably takes less than five minutes to put together if you're not talking. Then you got to stake, you know, make sure to stake it down. And I'm going to put the, the rain fly or the weather fly on there just to try to keep some body heat in because if you don't, uh, it's just going to be mesh. So the mesh is mainly for. If it's summertime, you want to breeze. We do not want to breeze. Oh, here we go. I usually don't put all these on at once. I just put one here and there just to keep this up. That's what she said. And then I go around and do the rest. But this is a all this stuff, uh, closed nature, this is what this tent is, and this is what this uh, this little tarp, little bitty thin tarp is underneath, but it's called uh, closed nature. All my stuff is on my Amazon recommended items on my website. I don't sell them, Amazon sells them. I just give you a link to go there to purchase it. You purchase it for them. Um, I might get a nickel or a quarter if you buy it, if you click it from that site. But everything on there, I highly recommend. I don't care how expensive or cheap it is, but for the quality and for the price, I, I highly recommend everything I put on there because if I didn't, I wouldn't want you wasting your money either. Okay. Maybe this, this is longer this direction. No, oh, it's a square. Okay, well, I will just put the uh, that direction that will be going in and out of my wigwam. I gotta figure out where's the zipper part. That way. And this is real simple to go on here as well. You can you can you can do it a little bit um, a little bit better if you um, if you want, but I find that this is inside out. That's what I just found. Okay. And you know me, I'm not an inside, outside, in and out, outside, reversible person. Um, I'm just gonna do that. I just said that for this reason here, because I know this bothers people. It doesn't bother me, folks. It doesn't bother me inside out. It just, it's supposed to have these boobs, the moobs, that's all. That's all it's for, and it's doing its job, okay? Stop looking at my moobs.
See, most campers and manly men will uh, not show you their mistakes, but I do. I could lie and say I did that on purpose just so you guys can know what's what, uh, but no, it was, it was on accident. Life happens, folks. Real life situations. Hashtag real life situations. Shout out to Tree. Tree from TLE. He is not with them anymore. He slangs beer, I think, for some company that I will not, I will not inform everybody about because they're not sponsoring this. But if you want to sponsor my videos, go ahead and uh, let me know um, Crocs or Closed Nature or Miracle Whip. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna keep this flap open. Um, and these right here, I actually, um, what I'm gonna, I should have done with this is uh, I do have something in here. Tasha just said, don't spray paint or sharpie it. So I actually have a pen with some Gorilla tape on it. So uh, I can tape these up because it's real reflective. If somebody is stealth camping, and, and you shine a little light, a little light. I don't care if it's a little light of mine, a little light of yours, but a little light reflects that real easily. So I duct taped all of it on my two person tent. So I, that's what this is for, so I can do it on this tent, but I already have this on here, guys. I'll do it another time. If somebody's shining a light in the back of this house, and it's not Tasha, yeah, there's there's a bigger problem than that. So I do have first, I need to clarify that I need to put this under the tent before we get going too far. Just to keep some of the cold, I'll just do a little bit. It's not gonna do much, but that's what she said. But there you go. Makes me feel better, okay? And there is little spots here to open up for, to let it breathe a little bit so it doesn't get condensation because last time I didn't do that. Uh, so that will be something that uh, you can put like this. And there's a little window there. This is the first time I even noticed that. I'm not gonna lie and say I knew about that. I see it now because it was condensation in there when I was sleeping there when it was cold before. So now I know. That was on stealth camp number eight, the spookiest, coldest at the time. Uh, that was, uh, what was that? The uh, Indiana one that that I, uh, I did that was with uh, Eli Lessig. He picked the place. Um, it was in Indiana by his house at a graveyard slash abandoned church. I'm talking, so I'm not getting everything in order. Okay, but currently, I think currently it is 12 degrees. No, I'm, am I lying again? Currently, it might be 18 degrees here. Tonight's gonna be negative eight. It's going, it's, 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 uh, it's 12, deg 12 degrees, the lying temperature. That is people lying to you that it's 12 degrees. The real feel, wind chill, feels like negative eight is it's negative eight it, it that's what it feels like if somebody says hey it's hot outside but it feels like it's 20 below i'm gonna tell you it's 20 below okay so whatever you want to go by you can be delusional all you want you can go by that okay let me get this going this here inflates by itself a little bit by itself so i'm gonna put this in there
and you're gonna see some chickens today. I'm gonna go out there and show you the chickens. I had to put Luna out there. I got a story to tell you after this. I can't do two stories at a time. I'll get confused and start, can't remember my lies. So let's let that breathe. Found a pair of socks in here. Needs to wash those out a little bit. Or just wear them tonight and then wash them. Save on washing, yep. Smart, smart of me, I know. This is my Teton Sport, Teton Sport, Teton, however you want to say it, you know what I'm talking about. This place here. Okay. I'll say it the way I want, you say it the way you want. But as long as we're on the same page, that is okay. Okay. And I gotta break out my pillow. I hadn't broke out my pillow with the self camping yet because I'm at home. I'm gonna be a little more comfortable. And the trick on this is put all your bags together, folks. Put all your bags in a bag, okay? So you don't lose it. Zip it up, put everything where it goes. Because I lost the bag to this after survival season, the hiking, survival season two, I believe. I lost this bag for a long time. I finally found it. There we go. This is the biggest pillow that I need. If it's bigger than this, then my neck hurts really bad because I put my arm under it. All this muscle with this arm, you can you can tell it's kind of like this. If if it's bigger, if it's bigger than that, that's what that's what she said. Okay, put that in there, and that should do it. So I don't know if the wind's picking up on this mic, but it is a little windy. Um, I'm starting to get goose pimples now, just now. So I do got body heat from this muscle. Um, if you don't have this much muscle, you don't know what I'm talking about, okay? But uh, for now, I'm gonna go ahead and blow this up. Uh, I'm not gonna show you with my mouth on this, blowing this on camera, um, but I will uh, be back with you and uh, go check out the chickens and take it from there, guys. Hey, here's the time to tell you about um, Luna before I forget. Uh, Luna sleeps on this perch. The first thing she does, she comes to this door about 5.30 p.m. since it gets dark about 5.15. She walks on over to get her treats in that bowl. She comes up on this couch. She walks across the top. She sleeps there almost all night until she gets up to get her little treats and her little snack again. Then she gets back up there, even though she has food up here and she has water. Uh, when she comes in in the daytime, she'll walk across there and she'll go over there to that nest. Well, this morning, I took her out here. She stood at this door. Usually, I just open this door like so. She goes there, she hops down like Hubert, hops down, hops down, hops down. Well, she stood here for quite a long time. Then I had to kind of nudge her a little bit. I didn't, I didn't do that. No, I didn't. That's, that's Luna. So I just like, hey, hey, there you go. And uh, she went down there. She had looked around, looked at the snow, looked outside. But the, she, she put one leg up. She had put one leg up in the air and was like shaking it. Um, and then she kept it in the air like she was Michael Jordan. Well, right after that happened, she came right back to these steps and came back on inside and hopped back up here and she actually laid her egg. I guess she got cold, so cold it pushed an egg out of her. So she sat there for a while and that's almost the end of the story until, um, let me get outside and talk to you the rest while I walk out there. But I'm gonna slip my shoes on. Um, I have these shoes down here. These are the shoes with the little wool inside, but somehow Tasha mangled these in the washer. She only washed clothes one time, I think, since we've been here. And I'm not lying, I do all the washing and folding clothes and stuff, but I don't mind. But let me get my jacket on, I'm talking. Uh, I'll talk to you while I put my jacket on. But she, um, you know when you, I always tell people in construction, if you don't wanna do a job 
do it really bad the first time and they won't ask you to do that particular job anymore. I'm just saying. Okay. Okay, where was I? Going outside to tell you, oh, I got a DIY to do with those. Since those are messed up, I got a DIFY, do it freaking yourself. So if you never saw it, do it freaking yourself on this channel. I call it that because people always have a better way to doing stuff and saying you're doing something wrong. So I'm like, this is the way I do it. If you want to do it the way you do it, do it freaking yourself. Okay, there we go. Got the tin all set up. I took my... Um, took my picture earlier. I did a little uh, photo shoot. So there's a zero degree degrees. Ooh, cut, 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 cut. Zero degrees sleeping bag test. Um, it might be a review, but what I have here is eggs on the bottom. I got a lot of eggs on the bottom. I got unsalting crackers and cheese. Uh, I get cheese uh, free because I get them when it's expired. Uh, the store, and I'm not going to mention the store's name so they don't get in trouble, they give me free cheese. So the cheese, uh, the chickens love. It's like the best treat in the world next to corn. So they love that. Okay, now to the story of the other chickens. I was out here for an hour running around catching about 10 to 12, probably about 12 chickens. If you ever caught one chicken, it takes a while. I'm a professional chicken catcher. It took about 20 minutes. I caught all 12. Um, and I got them back in the coop because the rest of them stayed, stayed uh, in the coop. Uh, it has automatic doors, so the other 10 or 12, 12 got out and uh, they stayed out. So I had to get them back in there and, and I'm keeping them in there for two to three days because it's going to get like 40 something degrees in like three days so they're going to stay in there it's going to it's going to be bad it's going to stink so I'm going to clean that out right when that's over I was going to wait till the 5th of January because uh, we're going to Florida and you'll see deep sea fishing and coral reef fishing on this channel um, but I'm not going to do any vlogs while we're there I'm just going to pretty much maybe a live but I'm pretty much uh, on the other channel and maybe this one but I'm pretty much just going to do two videos of fishing there and just it's her birthday I'm not going to have a camera in her face the whole time I want to have some fun and do some stuff for us but uh, I wasn't going to clean this out on the uh, the 5th but I'm going to go ahead and clean it out right when this this mess is over. I was out here about an hour last night um, getting all, all these leaves. I did a path so they can maybe walk without getting froze to the food. But yeah, they, they didn't really get the hint. But I got all that, that last night I was out here an hour. I searched the whole property all the way around. Hope you ain't getting dizzy. All the way from over there, all on the outside of that fence. I went three times just to make sure there was no chicken left out, no chicken left behind. Went all the way around all the way around, all the way around, all the way around to the house, and I circled this three times just to make sure. Then I got all the ice in my face by going up here on the canopy, getting all these leaves down so it doesn't break these canopy and I had to get back up the tree and put the stuff back up. Hopefully I'm not jumping around too much, but I think I'm I think I'm done. I think let's go feed the chickens. But I do I do, I do take care of my chickens. Um, I got heat lamps in there, but I, I gotta make sure these are unsaltined and that these cheese is not too bad for them. So I gotta make my own self a sandwich. Okay. There's one automatic door. I'm gonna block that off. Hold on, let me stop talking, let me stop eating. Well, let me stop talking so I can eat. Okay. I'm going to block these off when I get off camera. I'm going to use a cat bucket and on the inside, one of those cat buckets, block it off on the inside so they can't. And I got another automatic door over there. So that when it opens up automatically tomorrow, then I can just come out and close them and they won't get back out. But. They do got food in there and water. I got a water heater, so if it drops below 32 degrees, it actually, it actually um, 
heats the water so it doesn't um, doesn't freeze. So I got this contraption on here to keep all the all the bears out. There's no bears here, but just in case. Hey, ladies. Oh, don't do not. You better not. Okay. feeding them over there and they're being quiet now so um, I can talk a little bit but I'm going to go get eggs and uh, I do have seven heat lamps up here that one I don't need on right now because these heat lamps are on but that comes on every day and cuts on every cuts off every night but I got my empty milk cartons there I mean my uh, egg cartons you know what I'm talking about I'm gonna collect eggs so they got eggs in here they got eggs laying down on the ground over there uh, they had a mishap over here. I don't know what's going on. I guess they was trying to get out. One, whoop. Yeah, one got stuck. Some of them's not too bright. This is the number one spot to lay at right there. Um, I made this contraption on a DIFY on my, the garbage disposal channel, but this is at 90 degrees and I cut little bottoms out of there, but you fill this up with feed all the way to the top. They stick their head in there and get that feed that's at the bottom there. Uh, they already ate this whole thing of feed that was in here. So I'm trying to get them used to eating out of this. So all the stuff they're having here is all they're gonna have for tonight. They're gonna have to come out here and oh, they're gonna have to come to these and start getting used to these because I just put these back out here. Um, they, they did, when they was real little, they, they was eating out of them, but they might've have, might have forgot how to do it. So. We're gonna train them again because once we go to uh, Florida, when they go in and out, hold on, let me feed them again. Okay, but once we go to uh, Florida, they're, um, they got 30 pound feeders outside. That is, uh, go on, get away from here. There's two 30 pound feeders under there and there's two 30 pound feeders under there. So that is 120 pounds plus uh, four cat buckets of 30 pounds. So that's 120, 240. So 240 pounds and we're gonna be gone like seven days. They got a lot of food and a swimming pool full of water. So they're good to go. But I got people checking on them. They're gonna come every other day to get eggs. So that is a good thing too, just to make sure everything's okay. And uh, Luna, She's probably gonna have to, um, they might have to come every day just to get Luna, but we'll have to figure that one out when we, um, in a bit. So let me get these eggs, feed the rest of them, and I will, uh, I will be back with you. Okay, we ended up getting 24 eggs. I got my pockets on this jacket full, plus this uh, 
18 carton here. Um, there's a few other spots that I usually check, but I don't have to now because they're all locked in the same spot. Uh, some of them have their special special nesting spots in different parts of the yard, so it's an Easter egg hunt. And they do change them up uh, from time to time, so you gotta search pretty much everywhere. Um, there was something else I was gonna tell you, but must have been a lie. Uh, I'm gonna have to fill the water up uh, before the night's over because they drink almost six, I think about six gallons. There's th two three gallon uh, deals in there uh, with, the, with the, the heated water. So uh, they drink, they're gonna drink, they drink about six to seven gallons a day. I never knew that until now because I never had them locked in there all day. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fill that up and I will meet you back at the house unless there's something else I might've forgot to tell you. I can, hold on, let me show you these uh, feeders. The feeders are down here. Um, there's pellets that are thicker and there's crumbles. Um, the crumbles are in there but just because I have one special uh, chicken called tulips. Uh, lips are, uh, her, uh, her beak does like this. So it's hard for her to get food. But when I fill those up, um, I fill them up with crumbles uh, mostly because she, um, she could scoop that out better. And if it wasn't for her, I'll get the pellets because the pellets last a lot longer. Um, when I'm here, um, I put pellets in that whole thing and then every morning I come out and put crumbles to fill the bottom up so she can at least eat. And then the rest of the day, the, the, the pellets are there and then there's food that I, I throw out and treats. Uh, okay, I know I'm all over the place, but I'm trying to show you as much as I can um, before getting back to the camping video. So I think that should be all. Um, so I will talk to you probably after the live. Uh, so if you hadn't caught that live, I did a live on December 23rd on Friday on both channels. I did on the Garbage Puzzles channel and on the this channel outdoors unsupervised. So if you're not uh, subscribed to that channel and you like uh, food challenges, um, all those are going to be on that channel. And after the New Year's, if this is not uh, posted uh, until New Year's, no more, no more the garbage disposal uh, videos of uh, camping on that channel. No outdoors, no camping, nothing. So uh, apparently you are subscribed to this channel or you just caught this channel. But uh, if you like food challenges and such, that's uh, the other channel. So it'll be in the descriptions. Let me shut up and get back inside. I got things to do. frozen apples down here. GoPro stop recording. GoPro stop recording. Hey, it's that time, guys. Uh, the lives are off. I got my uh, tent ready to go, but I'm gonna go check on the chickens first. Um, I do this uh, when it's really cold at night to make sure the electricity's still on out there. Uh, you won't see me too much, but you you'll definitely hear me. I'm um. I am going to not put a heated water bottle in my sleeping bag. Um, usually if you're camping and it's cold outside, you want to heat some water up, put it in a bottle, put it in your tent. It helps out stay warm. Um, also, um, you, uh, you want to put your, your gas, if it's really cold, you want to put your gas that you're using inside of your bag so it stays a little bit warm and, and, and 
and lights and uh, because if the butane stuff gets too cold it turns liquid and it won't uh, won't light uh, also you want to put your camera gear in your bag um, so the cameras don't get too cold but I'm um, what I'm going to do is uh, keep one of the GoPros outside and one inside and see if the polar batteries the polar batteries for GoPro are supposed to work better in the cold so I am going to keep one outside uh, and then keep this GoPro I'm using now on the inside of the sleeping bag and see what happens but let's see the nuggets hey nuggets this one's always at this door I wish she, she would stay away from the door because it's a little colder right there are y'all doing good? You ripped the top up off this. I got the top on here so they don't poop on here. When they were younger, they used to roost. It's hard to do this with one hand. Okay. When um, that's what she said. When I used to younger, they used to roost on here and poop right in the middle of there. So I kept that Folger top on there so I didn't do that. Um, you ladies doing okay? Okay. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. Still can't go out. It's for your own good, though. Okay, this one is smaller and likes to roost up there. I'm not sure if you can see that one there. That one, uh, I guess the heat, the heat's going up there. It likes to stay up there. Nobody bothers it. It's just like this one. Uh, there's two just alike. Hey, you're molting a little bit. They lose their feathers any time of the year. It's not just like dogs in the summertime. They shed. These, sh these shed their feathers pretty much any time, and some get worse than others. I'm glad they all got their feathers back. Um, before it got real cold like it did now because some were almost bald like three of them so ugh, can't do this in the dark like she said okay but yeah so uh, I fed them protein they got like usually a 16 to 18 percent protein that you feed them the egg layers uh, you don't want to feed them too much protein all year uh, they get sluggish and you only do that if you're using them for meat birds and I'm not but during the winter I try to do 30% protein just to fatten them up a little bit to get more body fat but that is the chicken side of this real quick I just wanted to show you uh, I make sure uh, to check on them every night uh, especially in degrees like this and I check the fence the fence line um, but we're gonna get in here we got the solar power lights you see them flickering on and off I have them here and all the way over there just in case there might be some uh that light nope that light just went off this will light go off in a little bit but there's four lights over there there's one light here and there's one light on the other side of this she shed just uh in case some uh, raccoons or critters want to come out here i can spot them when the lights come 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 on okay well this is the time where i'm about to head into the tent i'm gonna start the camera on the inside so i can get a get a view of my backside going into the tent for the night and we'll uh see how it goes i'll watch a movie i'll like usual i'll let you know what movie i'm watching and later on i'll give you the the critique of the movie and how many out of 10 wigwams it is so let's go in here put my other jacket on um i know you probably heard me talking before about the about the layers of clothes i don't like to put clothes on until the time happens I know it sounded sounded bad worse than it, it, that I meant but if it's cold outside I don't put a coat on and walk around inside for an hour and then come outside because your body gets acclimated and you feel really cold quicker and you can't put another layer on you wait till you go outside then put the coat on or right when you walk out the door and then put the coat on and um, your body feels a little warmer so usually when I do these campings, I don't try to bundle up a lot until nighttime. Like the thermals, I usually don't put on until I'm about to go to sleep. I just wait till the last minute. My body feels even warmer because I put them on 
instead of having them on the whole time. So that's just a tip that I like to do. I'm not sure what you do. If you do camping, if you do, let me know in the comments. But I'm gonna go in here, get my other bundle on, and start this camera and start to freeze in here outside for you guys. But okay, see you in a bit. Go post stop recording. Okay, it is uh, I think 9.30 right now. So I have until probably 5.30 in the morning when the sun lights. So at least 5.30 I'm gonna try to stay in here. But let me get off into here. Kick my shoes off. find the movie and I will be right back with you. Oh shoot. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. It's Christmas time folks. It is freaking Christmas time. Let me put this up here. to clamp these down because I think these might try to fall off but we will see there we go that will stay there hopefully now okay let's get in here and I will um, watch them I will pick a movie and talk to you in a bit I did um, put this umbrella up uh, over me just in case so the trees because they do fall and big, bigger, way bigger limbs than this usually fall down here. Uh, so that hopefully that will at least brace, brace some of the bigger branches. If it's bigger than that I'm going to have to just say bye to you now. But this is the solar, solar power umbrella we we don't use yet I guess we can do in the summertime but we've had it um, works out pretty good but it's time for me to get in here I'm I'm getting hot already so I am layered up I'm gonna take this hat off right now so later on when I do get cold cold I will go ahead and uh, put that on if needed and I got a full face mask just in case go okay. post stop recording Okay, I'm checking in before I watch this movie. Um, I have some jalapeno Cheetos popcorn that I did a review on when I did the uh, FIFC or whatever that soccer, whatever association is uh, of the sweet corn uh, Cheetos. Uh, sweet street, street taco, I don't, I don't know. Uh, it was alive about some freaking chips. Um, but I have some chips here, I have some water. 
the water I'm putting in my, it's, it's just cold, like regular uh, room temperature water, but I'm putting it in my tent so it doesn't freeze overnight. Um, if you do that and it's cold outside, you might want to make sure the lid is tight and it's not one that just pops right off. So I do got a screw type Ocean Pacific, Ocean Spray, Ocean Spray, Ocean Pacific uh, drink. It might be a knockoff. I don't know. Uh, but I already know what I'm gonna watch. <coughs> it's not a movie. It's a, excuse me. It's a TV series I haven't talked about yet, but it's called Viking Va Valhalla. Um, I'm on episode four. Uh, I watched one through three. Uh, right now, I'm gonna give it an eight point five to a nine. So let's just say a nine out of ten wigwams. Um, and usually, as series goes on and on, it gets kind of stupider and stupider. Like maybe beginning of season two, but this is season one. Um, I'll give you a rundown of the wigwams uh, tomorrow when I wake up or tonight if I'm still up, but that's what she said. But if um, if nothing changes, it's still a nine out of 10 wigwams. I do like the series. Uh, I do like Vikings. I do like the uh, uh, Dungeon Dragon type videos as well. That should be about all. Um, I'm not even wearing my jacket yet. I have my uh, hoodie, my garbage disposal hoodie with the double lining on the hood. I don't even put the hood on yet. I feel toasty. Um, I see my breath in here. Um, on this tent, I actually, like earlier, I did recognize that it did have a vent up top. So the condensation in here will be less less than it should be but I feel condensation already at the bottom a little bit or maybe it's just cold maybe it's just cold we'll see in the morning but uh, they do have the vents up top so the condensation to be less than it was uh, before because I did have a problem with it uh, uh, before and I didn't know it had one of those so my bad um, I kept it on my Amazon recommended item list uh, there was something else I, would, I wanted to talk about, but it must have been a lie. With that said, guys, I'm going to watch this uh, video, and if I think about what I needed to say earlier, I might jump back on here and tell you before I forget again. Uh, so I'll layer up as I need it during the night. I'll get my jacket if I need it. I'll get my Elmer Fudd hat if I need it. If it gets even worse, I'll use my face mask but this has a mummy deal on it where this top I can't get it right now but this top goes all the way over you so I can I can do that as well hopefully Tasha don't try to be funny and come out here and try to scare somebody um, she knows that I have my GU in on me uh, it's in the house uh, so I am prepared to um, for that just in case okay well I will talk to you in the morning, and I'll probably um, get coffee in, inside. Well, I'll talk to you before I go get coffee inside, then I'll come back out and recap the whole deal for you, if I can make it that long. That's what she said. Okay. Um, I'm yawning already, but all right. See you later. Don't post stop recording.
Good morning, wigwams. Um, it is 6.05. Um, I slept pretty good last night. I was chilly just here and there uh, with my um, my face. Um, I did put my, um, because I didn't have the, the dill all the way over, that's, that's the why, because I fell asleep on a movie. So I come on here to tell you, I'm going to try to finish this movie. It's still dark outside. Uh, it will be light in about 30 minutes or so, but I'm going to try to finish watching this movie so I can give you an accurate wigwam rating. Um, I don't know if I even talked to you guys on here, but I try to watch three different movies. Third movie, I stuck with it, um, called Deus. I thought it was Deuce. D E U S because Zeus and Deuce, but no, it's Deus, um, the black spear or the spear. I don't know, something like that. The black spear, sphere, S P H E R. That's another stupid word, sphere, sphere, sphere. Say that more than once, and you're gonna look stupid like I just did. Um, something else I was gonna tell you, I forgot again. Oh, the older I get, I get to talking and, and, oh, I had to get up and use the restroom. Um, then I went, I checked, actually, you know what really woke me up is the freaking chickens out there. They was cackling like hens in the coop. Is that a, is that a saying? Cackling like hens in the coop or just cackling like hens? I don't know, but it was, there was loud out there. I was like, what's wrong? So I went out there. I think they were just a little low on food. They had food, but they was about to run out, I guess. So I filled that up, um, went back in, used the restroom, got Luna, and took her out there. And um, so, because she, she's going to be going out there in about 45 minutes anyway, so I went ahead and did it. But they're all okay. Uh, I'm going to watch this movie, and um, then I'll get back with you, okay? I'm going to go live for the um, Garbage Gang on the Facebook subscriber deal, and check in with them, let them know I'm alive, and then I will um, talk to you guys um, probably outside the wigwam, so let me watch this movie. See ya in a bit. Over and out. Now, go post stop recording. Guys, it got a little cold last night, but uh, water stayed not all the way froze due to my hot breath, I think. I got a little condensation in here, but I survived. Hey, it was a success. Um, I'm going to let you know that um, a sleeping bag is good to at least, I just checked the weather, it was 12 degrees. Um, I checked the weather like an hour ago, I believe. I watched the rest of the movie. The movie? No, the movie is not a success. Um, I'm going to give it a six wigwams out of ten. Um, the last thing to check is this GoPro. I got the GoPro uh, 10 right here, but the GoPro 9 is here with the polar battery. We're going to cut this on to see if it works. It's been uh, sitting here all night, and it's a miracle. It's working, so the polar battery works um, until uh, the battery shuts down. The battery doesn't last long at all, but uh, it actually works all night without being um, in a sleeping bag or you know staying warm. So that is that is a good thing too to know. Um, I like to uh, test stuff out so I'm even more confident when I'm going out places and I know what um, my um, equipment can withstand. So I know if I go anywhere hiking, if it's 12 degrees and I got a coat or two, I'm good. Um, I didn't even put my second coat on. Um, I did put the full face mask on and it started getting uh, condensation from the hot breath. So I took that back off. Yeah, I pulled the top back over uh, my head and it worked out great. So with that said, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to talk to the garbage gang, grab me a cup of coffee, and uh, see you on the next camping. So thanks very much for tuning in. If you hadn't subscribed to the channel, 
please do um, share the video. I don't just say that. Um, if you know people that like camping, uh, like to laugh, um, laugh while camping or camp while laughing, then um, please, uh, please share the videos with them. Hit the like button. It's not hard to do. If you just hit that like button real quick, um, it helps the video out a lot, and I do appreciate it. So talk to you next time. Go post stop recording. <laughs> Go post stop recording. Make sure to let them know um, if it's not in there that the record movie was a one out of ten wigwams. Um, the um, testimony leave it to beaver like movie is about a two out of ten wigwams um, and the last one I think I talked about the deus is uh, five or six at the most wigwams out of ten And the first two had 4.5 stars out of 5. The last one, 3.5 out of 5. Reviews. I don't know who's reviewing these. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Outdoors Unsupervised channel. Um, a little bit of GoPro stop recording. Welcome to another camping video. It is kind of weird shit. Go post stop recording.